everyone. Good morning. It's so, so wonderful to be here again at the end of the week on a Sunday um, to enjoy time together and talk about Jesus, which is one of my favorite topics. Um, we are um, the McClure family. You'll see many of us coming through the camera at one point or another. We have a dog who occasionally features as well. We are um, at St. John's with St. Mary's Church. Thank you so much for coming back to those who have been here before and welcome if you've not been here before. Um, did you know that we are in Easter season still? You know, Easter feels like such a long time ago. So many things have happened since then. Um, and the Easter that I mean is, you know, the Good Friday and the Easter Sunday, but actually, um, the church is still celebrating Easter. Um, and the reason for that is because when Jesus came back um, to er, came back resurrected, when Jesus resurrected, he spent 40 days um, communing, fellowshipping, enjoying his disciples. Um, and ascension is the time when we the church remembers that he went up to heaven, back to the Father. And so we, if you've been to, to kids' church in the previous weeks, we've been, we were doing a um, se session called Life in Quarantine, and we finished four Old Testament characters, but we are going to pause that just for this Sunday and next Sunday. This Sunday we're going to look at Ascension, and next Sunday we're going to be looking at Pentecost, and the two things go together. And we're going to look at the word hope. So we're going to look at hope today, and we're going to look at hope next Sunday as well. So I hope that you are ready, and I hope that you've got your biscuit, and I hope that you are comfortable so that we can embark on our kids' church for this Sunday morning. If you've been here before, you will have seen this. Um, this is the, the structure that we use at Toddler Church on a Sunday morning, if you've been to our, our church before, and we've, we're just continuing with that. So um, we pray, we sing a very simple song, and we tell a story, which today will be Ascension, and then we are going to suggest a craft for you to do, okay? Um, Gloria, who is behind the camera helping us direct this morning, will pray uh, for us. Um, and we're going to follow the pattern that was introduced to us last Sunday, which is the please, the sorry, and the thank you. Um, and so if you would like to follow her prayer, I suggest put your hands together and close your eyes so that you can listen to what she's saying. And if you agree with what she said, you say, Amen, which just means I agree. Okay, let's go for it. Dear God, please be with us today and in our service as we look at what Ascension Sunday means. Please be with all our friends, family and our church and we ask that everyone is filled with hope today. We are sorry for when we fail to show love to the people around us. Thank you for the gift of your spirit, which the disciples waited for, and we also need the spirit which reminds us we are forgiven and gives us energy to love you and love other people with all our hearts in jesus name amen amen thank you so much gloria right now it's time to get your wiggles out so karis who is actually wearing um a shirt that says joy on it and dave are going to lead us in this bit and nelson on the piano go take it away <laughs>
reminds us of Easter again, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, do you know, Ascension um, is the final bit of our song. Good news, Jesus was born. Good news, he died on the cross. Good news, he rose again. And good news, he's coming back soon. Ascension and Pentecost is about the good news that he's coming back soon. So let's, um, let's catch up on the Easter story again. You'll rem so as I said in the beginning, Jesus died, he rose again, and before he went up to, uh, he went back home, he went back to his father, he spent 40 days with his disciples trying to convince them that he, it was indeed him because obviously nobody had come back from the dead um, like Jesus. And so he uh, was trying to help them to believe God. They were trying to, he was trying to help the disciples to believe that he had resurrected. So he enjoyed meals. He enjoyed um, fishing with the disciples. He, he just had a normal life for 40 days with the disciples. And here he is, um, ready to go back to heaven. And this is what he says. Go to Jerusalem and wait there, said Jesus. The Holy Spirit will come to you. He will give you power to tell people about me. Now the time has come for me to go to heaven. Do not be afraid. Gloria. <laughs> then Jesus went up towards heaven in a cloud. His disciples stared at the sky sky for a long time. All of a sudden, two angels appeared. They asked, why are you standing here looking at the sky? Jesus will return the same way you saw him go. Then the disciples remembered what Jesus had said. They returned to Jerusalem and waited for the Holy Spirit to come. Now, if you were here with us um, uh, at, around Easter, after the Easter Sunday, you'll remember that actually, the after Jesus died, the disciples went into hiding. They were indeed hugely afraid. They thought that maybe it was their turn next. And so, Instead of being happy about Jesus going, they were incredibly scared and they went into isolation. They went into quarantine for a while. But now something radically different has happened. Jesus has gone again, but the disciples have a smile on their face. In fact, the Bible says that as the disciples, as Jesus went up to heaven, the disciples were filled with great joy. And instead of going into isolation, they went to the temple and they blessed God. They stayed in the temple blessing God over and over and over again. And so something radically different changed. What is it that changed for the disciples that they were able to wait with joy and I think the secret is in that word, hope. Because now that they saw that Jesus could conquer death, Jesus could um, come back from the dead, there was nothing that Jesus couldn't do. They had hope. And so if Jesus said, go to Jerusalem and wait for me to send the Holy Spirit, they could trust Jesus. They could trust Jesus with joy because they had hope that the Holy Spirit would come. And they could trust Jesus and they could believe in him that what he was saying would come true. And that is the hope that we have as well. You know, we, or each of us here, we might be waiting for something, but our waiting doesn't have to be a sad waiting, doesn't have to be a heavy waiting. 
It can be a joyful waiting, a bit like when you're waiting for your birthday to happen and you can't sleep because you're so excited that the next morning you're going to get lots of presents and you're going to be singing happy birthday and you're going to be celebrating you. Or in our family, we are waiting for some butterflies to emerge from their cocoon. And that's a really joyful waiting because we can just see that they're getting ready um, to, become, um, to, to become butterflies, to change and to become something new, something that they've always meant to be. I wonder if you guys saw something come through the camera as I was telling the story. Did you, did you spot what it was? It was a balloon, wasn't it? A helium balloon. Many special thanks to Katie Cooper for helping us with sourcing the helium for that balloon. And if you hang on with us right to the end, then you will be able to see us doing something special with that balloon. But I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, okay? So if you remember, we, we do our... Um, our prayer, our song, our story. I hope you've managed to have, have a biscuit. There was a lot of commotion around me while I was telling the story because Marley, Marley um, was given a very special treat for the story time. Um, and we're now going to do our craft. And remember, if you hang on until the end, we will do something special with the balloon, which I won't say what it is now. And Gloria is going to come and help me with a craft. Um, as usual, we have... Um, a couple of craft ideas for you because we don't know what you've got at home so we're giving you a couple of ideas to, so that you can follow it up at home if you would like to okay um, this is probably my all-time favorite craft in our family we do it quite often don't we Gloria well when when you guys were little we, we used to do it quite often so what you, we are basically going to make bubbles and the reason we're going to make bubbles is because bubbles remind us of um, things that blow up in the air. Think of Jesus blowing up in the air, okay? Um, here's an a insulated cup, a styrofoam cup. You need a, um, something sharp to make a very small hole in the cup. You probably need to make it quite, maybe roughly in the middle. Okay, so here is, here is the hole that I've made. Um, you need a straw to go into that hole like that, okay? You need an old towel that you're okay to use for this. I had a big towel so and it was a very old towel and I had to cut it. And if you are cutting a towel, you need to cut it just big uh, uh, over um, so that it goes over the, the tip of the, the cup. And then you need an elastic band to secure the towel on top of the insulated cup. And here is the magic, people. Let's hope that it works. Because can I play? Yes, of course you can. This is a, a plate with a bit of water and a bit of fairy liquid or, you know, washing up liquid. Um, you're going to dip the insulated cup upside down into the water so that it soaks the towel. And then, oh, let's hope this works. You blow on it to make bubbles. Yes, thank you, Karis. Now, I actually have a whole bunch of these insulated cups and I'm going to put them in the porch of the church. So if you don't have an insulated cup, you are very welcome to come and get it. Um, obviously observing social distancing and cleaning your hands and all of the things. But if you don't, if you can't do that, Gloria has a different way of doing the bubbles and she's already playing with the bubbles and enjoying them. I want to play with bubbles. Yeah, we'll play with them outside. So it's a good thing to do in the garden um, or just outside in the park. Anywhere because it does get a bit messy. So for you, this one, you're going to need hand soap, like liquid hand soap, not like the block hand soap. That's really annoying. Okay. This is really annoying. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to need this thing. Cosmetic, round cosmetic pads, it's called. Um, you just need one of those. And then you're going to need some water. And a squirty thing, so maybe like an old shampoo mm. bottle that squirts, or like some hairspray. Um, you yeah. empty it out, 
empty it out and then you have to fill it up well not fill it up like one third of it about with water you would do this in the tap it's just i'm showing you so yeah it would be better to do it in the taps <laughs> Okay, so pour water into the, the squirty thing. About that much. Yeah. And then uh -huh. I'm going to do about 10 squirts of liquid hand soap. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, put and that in there. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And the reason we're doing the, the spray is just so that it, it helps. Um, if you put too much water, then it doesn't work so well. We did lots of tries <laughs> of this last night, didn't we, Gloria? A lot. Okay, so yeah. then you you squirt the water into, you probably like, need a bit, need more. a bit more. Just into the middle and just on one side. If you do it on the other yeah. side, then you're going to like, okay. it's not going to go down well. And then you put it over your mouth. And there you go, you've got bubbles again. And if you boil the bubbles up into the air, like that, then you can remember that Jesus ascended into heaven so that he could send the Holy Spirit. And he is trustworthy. We can trust him and we can have hope that the Holy he Spirit will come. Yeah, we probably need more soap. Now, we, got, we, we promised you something with a balloon, didn't we? But we're just going to do the shout outs before we do that. So hang in there, everyone. Um, Dave is going to come and join us to do the shout outs. Um, and we, I hope, whoops, how are we going to do this? Sorry, we'll see. Play with soap. All right, you go there. Uh oh. Right, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us for our church uh, service this morning. Um, Gloria helpfully noted down some of the people who are watching. Uh, as we said before, if you're a visitor or you're remaining anonymous or we don't mention your name, you're still very, very, um, we're still very, very grateful that you've tuned in and uh, thank you for uh, being a part of our service this morning. Uh, but we have heard uh, on the comments from Rach B with Tyler, uh, Mary and Chris and George the <laughs> cat, uh, Ruth uh, with Felix, Gareth, um, who... Um, reads the Bible for us on our YouTube service this week with little Alexi, um, Alice and Matthew, Vicky uh, watching with Erin. Was it Erin's birthday? Okay. And it's in a few weeks' time, in sorry. Few, in a few weeks' time, sorry. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it, I'm sure. Um, Sarah Powley with Kezo, hi. Um, Adelika and all your family. I guess little Cal knew too. Yuju, thank you for watching so faithfully. Um <gasps> With um, so it's a, oh dear, Oops, never mind. We'll right. fix it. Um, with uh, um, Timothy and Samuel, uh, James and um, Elena. With Josie, hi guys, nice to see you guys. Sandeep and Asha, Mike and Jenny Jeffries. Apparently, your anniversary uh, this week or today. I'm not sure, but congratulations. Many happy returns. Um, Susanna with little Eliana. Lovely to have you guys tuning in. Lots of love to. Uh, the wider family, Kevin and Sue as well. Zoe with Finley and Jake, Finn and Jake. Um, and Alexandra with the twins, Zonder and Teddy, um, also tuned in today. Helen, uh, Davey, we, uh, thank you for tuning in. I guess um, Sophie and Ella might be watching. Mary Potter as well with Charlie. That's lots of people. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, just checking, I haven't seen any others uh, on here that I've missed. I don't think so. Um, so uh, no real other notices uh other than what you see in the newsletter uh there's mm. the final installment in the prayer sessions that rachel michael put together so if that's been a useful thing please do check that out um and uh, ollie's written a bit about our buildings and why we can't yet go back into our buildings which is sad because i know that many of us would like to um but uh, we're working on a plan hopefully for um someday in the next weeks or months when we can start to access our buildings uh, again, but um, not just yet. So we'll probably be here next Sunday morning as uh, we were this week to do it again. <laughs> All right. And so to finish, everybody, we did say that we were going to do something special with the balloons. And so we've had special permission or agreement anyway to <laughs> release this balloon. Mod moderate agreement. Moderate agreement. <laughs> To release this balloon up into the air and as we please don't do this at home by the way we don't want hundreds of balloons going up in the air 
but hopefully this will remind you that Jesus ascended into heaven and one day he will yet. come back. He will come back and he will send us the Holy Spirit. And Dave's going to read us our blessing as Gloria sets the balloon off. Tasha wants to come out. Okay, and we're going to do some balloons. Some bubbles. Ready? All right. Bubbles. Ready? Go. Go. Christ, our ascended King, pour upon you the abundance of his gifts and bring you to reign with him in glory and the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you and all your families now and always. Amen. Amen. Marley, Thanks wait for, for joining us. Oh, yeah. Here's Marley. Marley, I'll make play us. With the bubble too. There he is. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah.